now I'm here in the ship's office and we are going to repeat the Vigilant 404 on the small tank and from the big tank I'm going to put the Vigilant to the small tank because we order new Vigilant in 45 kilograms and we need to dispose the old tank and this, this is my shipmate of ship uh, Okay guys, I have here empty refrigerant bottles. This refrigerant bottle is 404A refrigerant with a weight of 24 pounds or 10.9 kilograms. And I have to remove all the gases inside and try to refill this using a recovery pump. see now there is no gases inside I'm going to put it here and we will try to refill it with the refrigerant using a recovery pump hey guys I have here the recovery pump and I'm going to put the refrigerant from one tank to another tank as you can see here for you to recover a refrigerant we need the input this is the blue color one going to the HVAC system and then insert it on the gauge manifold from the gauge manifold I have the yellow solder with filter dryer and then going to the input side of my recovery pump and also I have here a blue from the HVAC system from now I'm going to use the blue color for gas and red color for the liquid from my refrigerant tank and I'm going to put this yellow color to my recovery pump in left side and other side on the empty tank. As you can see, this is the setup of my recovery pump. This recovery pump is 230 volts, 50 hertz, one half horsepower, oilless compressor, suitable for refrigerant of category 3, 4, and 5 my recovery pump machine and it has its scale the scale is here I have here the blue take note blue is the gas and the red is the liquid to transfer the refrigerant 404 remain on this tank going to the Okay, now I'm going to fit these uh, fittings. It is open. The liquid valve is open. I'm going to open the gas. recovery pump. My recovery pump is made by Thunder with one half, one half horsepower with 230 volts. I use a plier to fire the tighten so the refrigerant leak is eliminated. Okay, I already repeated this post from the output of my recovery pump and I will open this valve. 
that is a sound There is a sound coming from this recovery pump and this tank looks refilled. Then I put it liquid and open. You see? This looks refilling here. Then here, my pressure keeps steady. We will observe if the pressure is dropping. I will put this bulb in open position. This bulb is also in the open position. And I put this bulb in open position. This is output, this is input going to my gauge manifold. As you observe here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10.5. 10.5 bar. The pressure of my manifold here is 10.5 bar. And as you observe, the needle is deflected without switching on this recovery pump this is open and this is also open we will see if we can feel clear here as I check it I have now the feature inside and keep refilling it without switching on the recovery pump on this way we can refill this tank with fuel now before it is less weight but now it has a weight little by little the weight become heavy meaning on this method we can refill the small empty tank without switching on the recovery pump we check and weigh how much kilogram this button has I'm going to prepare my weighing scale so that we will see if the refrigerant weight here is good enough. Take note, this small button is 13.5 kg and this big button is 55 kg with tank or 55, 45 kg the refrigerant weight inside. Guys, as you can see, I just weigh in a small button and now I have 2468 kilogram and I still need to repeat the this tank by 13.5 kilogram here is 13 this is my target weight without a uh, switching on the recovery pump I've been able to repeat this empty tank by opening only the valve here we are going to switch on this recovery pump by resetting the power here and here switch on as you will see working and the weight of the tank keep moving 
the weight of the tank is increasing from 8 kilogram going to 8.2 then from 8.2 increase by about 8.5 and as you can see here the pressure I have on the in this side is You would notice the weight of this small tank is now 10 point this is 8 kilogram this is 9 kilogram 9.2 9.4 9.6 going to 9.8 then now coming up it's about 10 Kilogram. I'm weighing it to prevent from overfeeding. You will see the the weight keep moving from zero eight kilogram and now ten point two, uh, ten point four. Why we do it? Because I need to bring this big tank on the shore because we order new refrigerant full but the problem is this hub still remain refrigerant inside so that I just recover the refrigerant from the big tank to the small tank I have on board so guys I hope that you learn something You've learned something on it and do like and share my YouTube channel. This is how you repeat a refrigerant on the empty refrigerant bottle using this recovery pump. This recovery pump is made with thunder, heavy. 230 volts, 1 pump horsepower, 50 hertz. This is oilless compressor, suitable for refrigerant of category 3, 4, and 5. Okay, guys, as you see here, the weight of my tank now is approaching the 12 kilograms. this valve 
I will keep this open and this open and we will see I have now 13.2 kilograms I'm going to remove this tank by closing this first then I just close this valve after closing it we are going to open this valve carefully take note once we open it there is a small refrigerant coming out I'm going to remove this using a pliers and be careful you will you will see small amount of prion will be coming out now I'm going to remove this okay now this tank has a refrigerant inside I have new one set small tank Empty, empty bottles. I'm going to connect this one with a slight connection. Then, before I'm going to tighten it, I'm going to bleed. I'm going to bleed off this one by opening this valve. As you see, this. Then, little by little. I'm going to tighten by a means of pliers. Make sure that you tighten it to avoid the refrigerant from leaking out. I'm going to weigh this one on my weighing scale. Initially, it has 4.5 kilogram. And now I'm going to open this valve. As I open it, you heard small sounds. This sound is known as hissing sound. I will open this one. This is from the recovery pump. I will put this valve in a recovery position. Then I will open this one. And then I'm going to and I'm going to open this one. And then open this one. Now is in open position. We try to start the pump, recovery pump. Now I just open this valve. Once I open it, you will find here the pressure is moving. You are repeating from the big tank going to the manifold, going to the recovery pump output, then refill this tank. May ah, yeah. kilo? Written here 10.9 kilogram, about 24 pounds. 24 pounds. 10.9 kilogram. Oh, yeah. Sa Pilipinas, magandang negosyo to. Yeah. This is a This bag is now in liquid. I put more open it. And as you will notice, the pressure increases from 1 bar to Notice here, 
the weight of my cylinder from 6.2 increased by 6.8 leading to 7 bars I already opened the paper this paper is known as gas with a color of blue and this red is a liquid with a color of red manifold hoses going to my gauge manifold inlet side and this going to the recovery inlet side and from there this output is connected to the end as you observe here before it has 10.2 kilo bars now I have four point four bars here. We got ten point two now we have four point four meaning it begins that the pressure here is dropping meaning the tank now is getting empty and I able to transfer the refrigerant here going to my small tank. And now my present weight is eight point two kilograms. Here also the pressure steady from three point five bars here. Here we go. Now the discharge is twenty bars. Charging refrigerant. I'm refilling refrigerant on the empty tank. The weight is getting heavier before it has an initial of 5.2 kilogram. Now I have 6.2 kilogram. And this gauge of my recovery pump are keep moving here. It's jumping from 2 bar to 4 bar, 2 bar to 4 bar. Look at it. This is the inlet side of my recovery pump. It's jumping. And the outlet. 
jumping from two bar to four bar and the outlet uh, and the outlet gates of my recovery car uh, is kept steady about 10.2, 10.4, 10.6, 10.8 Ah, this is 14 bar. Here it's jumping by 2 to 4 bar. And here it's steady about 14 bars. And on my gauge manifold, I have here gauge manifold. This gauge manifold reads about 10 points. point two bar and I'm still keep observing the weight of this pump before it has a 5.2 now I have 6.4 this is the weight scale take note in doing a repeating a repeating run you must need to put it on top of the weight to avoid overfilling. Take note that this tank is designed to have 10.9 kg with 24 pounds. This is the net weight. Before it's jumping, bar to four bar now it's it has lesser pressure here it has a one bar we will observe but here the pressure keep 11 12 13 14 on the discharge on instruction of medical brain pump I am now having one bar and here I have now then 11 bar before it is 12 bar now I have 11 bar open this is open I try to open also this glass Singapore 
with net weight of 10.9 kg, 24 pounds. This is a non reusable cylinder. And here, this is a refrigerator. here I have 6.2, 6.4, 6.6 kilograms as you would notice here the pressure of my manifold gauge is having two bars from this tank going to the manifold gauge and it's from this point this process is going to the input of my recovery pump maybe uh, 0 1.2 bar then from here I have the output of the recovery pump before I have 20 bars now getting only 18 bars And the weight of my small tank is now having 9.1 kg. As you would notice, the gauge weight of the tank is increasing from 5.2 to 9 kg. And this small tank, I already refilled it by 13.5 kg. Now here I have 9 kilograms. In the feeling refrigerant, you must need to observe the input side of the recovery pump and the output side of the recovery pump. You will notice that the pressure keeps decreasing and decreasing. And you will also compare the inlet or input side of the recovery pump. From here I have Zero, one, one bar. But on the guide's manifold, I have here one point two bars. One point two bar here, and I have here one bar. Okay, guys, as you found. Here, the liquid, this is a red open, the gas, the blue one is still open, and now this gauge manifold connected hose here. As you observe here, the pressure is dropping from 10 bar to 0 bar, meaning I have now a vacuum. This is an indication of empty refrigerant on this tank and from here also the recovery pump registered zero bar looks I don't have any more refrigerant on the big tank and here on the discharge side the pressure drops down 20 bars to 11 to 13 bars here and also I refill the feature from 5.2 to 9.2 kilogram this is a 9.2 kilogram and I think the refilling of the refrigerant is now finished and I will check this valve into a close then merge then close then I will switch off the pump here this is the recovery pump now I just finished refilling this 
empty bottle guys i think it's already finished and i don't have any refrigerant inside because the pressure gauge here is already in vacuum and also here in vacuum i'm going to close the valve here for liquid is the red gas for the blue one those bulbs are closed and this bulb is closed now and now this bulb is also closed then I will put this close then purge then purge then this recovery pump is automatically switched off himself thank you now I just refill the two bottle this bottle having 9.2 kilogram and this bottle having oh <coughs> 13.2 kilogram so 9.2 plus 13.2 so I just refilled 9.2 plus 13.2 I have 22.4 kilogram of the refrigerant from which I'm going to deduct the weight of the tank this is an empty tank as we weigh it it has 3.8 kilogram. I will be, I will less by 3.8, 18.6. Less again by 3.8. So I recover about 14.8 kilogram of the refrigerant. This is a big tank, empty bottle, having a weight of. 30.8 kilogram this having a 30.8 kilogram to verify that this big tank has no refrigerant inside I'm going to open this one this is a liquid red one and the gas here the blue one as you can see there is no any refrigerant coming out here so it's verified that the big container now is empty and ready for disposal ashore. So guys, that's all I able to put the refrigerant from the big tank to the small tank. I recover 14.8 kg of the refrigerant and I hope that you learn something on it. Thank you. Okay guys, that's it. And I hope that you learned knowledge from it. And you are able to recover the refrigerant from tank with refrigerant going to the empty tank. Please subscribe and share my YouTube channel. Thank you.